Welcome to an Abbasid double TC build order guide. Abbasid haven't been getting much love on the ladder lately due to them not being quite as strong in the current meta. But to all you people that love Abbasid, the double TC is the most meta build for a reason. When aging with Abbasid, you have access to different wings, which is essentially having similar benefits to any other Civ's age up landmarks. But it gives you access to unique technologies. Within the economic wing, you have a tech called the fresh food stuffs which discounts the cost of your bills by 50 percent um, this allows you to better deal with age 2 pressure as you can invest more resources into units rather than trying to pump out 100 food every 15 seconds for your villagers there are other viable options when it comes to aging up to age 2 like the military wing and the culture wing but i believe they're more suited to single town center strategies so I've put together a little table right here, just outlining what I believe to be decent matchups and maps for this strategy. So in orange, it's basically you don't want to be using this strategy at all. So in the matchup side of things, we've got orange as the English, just because the longbows are so much stronger and they can severely punish you for going the early double TC opening. In combination with mana arms at age two, uh, you can just get real messy real quick. So in yellow, we have the matchups where you slightly need to adapt when you're based on the information you're getting when you're scouting. So French early nights can be an issue. So you're going to need to pump out some pikes earlier on before you drop down that second TC. Mongols and Rus, basically you just need to have information on what they're planning on doing. If Mongols is going like early archers against you, it might be tricky to keep up with the mass and you're more vulnerable to an archer rush. With the Mongols, you just need to see if they're going up to Castle Age or not. So with the Rus, same thing applies. You need to scout and see if they're making early knights. If they are, consider making some early pikes to deal with that and then dropping down your second TC. So in the green are the matchups where this strategy is completely viable. You can follow this step by step. And that is against the Chinese, Holy Roman Empire, Delhi and Abbasid Mirror. With the Holy Roman Empire, just be careful. You need to kind of deny if they are going a fast castle, which most of them are. You need to deny their relics that they're going to be picking up. So whether that looks like you making a few horsemen and pikes in the early ages or walling the relics, up to you. So for the maps, we have in yellow, Dry Arabia, High View, Ancient Spies, Mongolian Heights, Confluence, King of the Hill, and Boulder Bay. Now these are one of two things. It's either an open up, where you're more vulnerable to being pushed without having the capabilities of walling. Um, and the other side of things is their semi-water maps. So generally speaking, the opponent that has water is going to have a, an edge over you. So you just need to be cautious of that. Not going water at all can tend to backfire. For the green side of things, we have Lipany, Mountain Pass, Black Forest, Altai, French Pass, and Hill and Dale. All of these have tight choke, so that gives you the capability to wall off very easily and making booming a much easier possibility. Some of these maps you can even consider going triple TC, but in this build, we'll just be focusing on the double TC build. When it comes to the orange, just steer clear of these maps. All of these are heavy on water. If you are interested in getting access to a written version of this, you can get this on my Discord, which I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I'll also include the sieve and map little matrix table thing so that you can get access to that as well. And don't forget, if you did enjoy this or find it helpful, please like and subscribe to help the algorithm show this to more people and get more people playing Abbasid. All right, let's get into it. All right, so all of our first fills onto sheep. And gather your sheep around your TC and bring them back. So our first fill from our town center is going to be heading towards gold. But along its way, it's going to build a house. So we're going to build it around here. So it connects with the mining camp here. As one of the unique features of the Avacid is they have the House of Wisdom which has special benefits when you have a certain amount of buildings within uh, the radius. And I'll show you what that looks like if you're not aware um, once we build the House of Wisdom. So with our second build, we actually want to build the House of Wisdom along the way to the gold. And then we're sending new builds to food. And you may be wondering 
why we're not building a mill for berries at the beginning. Um, that essentially is going to slow down the build slightly if we do that. And you're actually able to get up quicker if you start on sheep. Um, we are going to be using that wood to invest into the town center early on as well. So we just want to stay on sheep for the, for the early game. So this is the House of the Wisdom. As you can see, there's a radius here. And there is certain benefits with each tier that you get to. So tier 1 is 10 structures within the certain radius. And that will increase the your economy by 10%. So it's pretty neat. Um, and I'm going to talk through like prioritizing that later on. Once we hit age 2. So once you have 8 vills on food, you want to start sending new vills to wood. Accidentally uh, missed task my town center a little bit there. Not, not much time was lost. So we're just gathering wood now to prep for our age to town center. As soon as we age, close to as soon as we age, we should be dropping that down. So we're starting to collect the wood for it now. Make sure you don't queue up too many vills. As you saw, I just cancelled a vill there just so we can hit the second age quicker. If you have too many bills queued up, you're not going to be able to have the food at the same time as the gold is ready. So right here, we're going to manually pull off gold villages once it hits the 3,900. There we go. We're going to go up with the economic wing. Uh, the reason we're going up with the economic wing is that in age 2, we actually get access to um, the cheaper villages. So once you age, start aging... Collect a little bit of extra wood for the tech that we're going to be getting from the House of Wisdom. Send two vills to stone, two vills to wood. Build a build a ca uh, mining camp when you can. And we're going to be sending new vills to stone here. Um, we're going to keep sending vills to stone until we have six gathering stone. Keep the two vills on gold because that is going to give us this fresh food stuffs tech as soon as we age, which will reduce the cost of villages by 50%. Now this is quite huge for the Abbasid. It's one of the reasons why that that most players decide to go for this build when they're playing the Abbasid. Just because you can get an early TC down and it's not really going to slow out, slow the production of your military too much in the initial state initial stages. It's just going to be lost time building the TC because once you're on two town centers and they both and your vills uh, cost 25, it's going to be the same cost as running one TC. So we're building a house here and we're making sure it's in the network. So it's connecting the, the mining camp and the house to this network. So after this is built, we should be at seven structures. I believe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay, maybe not. Why is that happening? So once you have six on stone, you want to send one more to wood here. Now, as soon as you age, you want to be getting in this tech straight away. That is your biggest priority as soon as you age is to get that tech. So as you can see, we're nearly at the re resources for a town center here. One thing to keep in mind with the placement of your town center is that you want to have it most likely on a, a food source. So in this case, we want deers and berries. And it's also behind our second TC, our first TC here. Oh, any second now. So... The reason why it's nice having your TC behind the original one is because your second TC can't focus fire. If your enemy comes in with rams and they try and kill your first TC, you can actually shoot their units with the TC. So the second TC doesn't have that ability. So you, you're slightly safer when it comes to someone ram rushing you. So now that we have... Now these vills are going to be ending up on food. We're going to pull some vills off food here to wood. Now, if you are building a second TC on top of a food source and a wood line, then you don't have to do this transition of all these fills off food and onto wood. 
But now our priority is to get Golden Age and start with military production buildings. If you know your enemy is going fast castle, you probably don't have to put down military buildings. Just scout to make sure you know what he's doing. Start double producing from your TC. And now our priority... So in this example, we're assuming that our enemy is going to attack. So now we're prioritizing the Golden Age. So we're actually going to build two archery ranges because we scouted our enemy is also going archers and pikes. Oh, that's a mistake. So in this case, you always want to have a mill next to the berries because it's actually going to increase this from 250 to 500 food. So that's the kind of opening um, for this build. I like to keep two guys on gold as well, just so you can get any eco techs or if you do build a blacksmith, you can get um, upgrades there. So now we've hit golden age, we've got an extra 10% and we're double producing builds here. So even though we're double producing bills here, you should be able to get a good amount of units out. So usually if you're pl planning on playing Age 2, I'll have one of the TCs sending to wood and one sending to food if I am producing archers. And soon enough, we'll actually be able to drop down a third archery range if you want to go all in on archers. If your opponent is mixing in cav, you can put down a barracks. Um, and if your opponent is, if you want to add, uh, uh, light horseman in this situation, you can actually drop a stable. Um, that should give you a good advantage if you do have a nice archer mass, but you're slightly behind. Adding in some horsemen could be really nice. Um, so that kind of covers it from here. You need to just kind of adapt from based on what your opponent is doing. If your opponent is going castle age, I recommend putting down a few walls if you can. Um, for example, on this map, scout what your opponent's doing. If you see like early military buildings, put down a wall as soon as you can. The reason being is because we're on two town centers, we're not going to be able to age up as fast as our opponent to get to castle age. So to compensate for that, we need to buy time. And the way we're going to buy time is just walling up. And then from here, if you go to castle, you can make whatever unit combination you have based on what your opponent's making. So you can go men at arms, spears, and siege. You can continue to go full archer or crossbow, depending on if they have um, if they have armored units. And prioritize getting your eco upgrades. If you are planning on aging earlier, you will need, obviously need to change up your macro here. Not so many on wood. Put a bunch on gold. And just keep producing from the town center. That kind of sums up the guide here. If you did enjoy it, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, you can check out some of my other guides. I have some for Rus, HRE, and also like an Abbasid Ram timing push. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.